Hey everyone, so Dan Francis here, and today guys, I'm gonna be speaking to you about something really, really exciting. Now, on our recent trip to Utah, we was actually one of the first group of people to ever see inside this new facility that our company has recently acquired. Now, this is called Grow Viv. And when I first heard about Grow Viv over a year ago, I was so, so excited. What Grow Viv is, it is indoor farming, but with a whole new level to it. But the reason I was so, so excited is my background is in personal training and nutrition. So I've always been excited about things like this, you know, um, about indoor farming, about ingredients, organic, non-organic, you know, all that type of stuff out there. And I've been super, super excited to see this. And when I found out our company have acquired it and actually got in to go in there and have a look around and see how it works and see what they're doing, it was incredible. So throughout this video, I'm gonna be taking you guys through it and you are gonna see some incredibly exciting things. But now first up, let's go actually inside Groviv and let's see what's happening inside there. So as you can see, now we are heading inside Groviv. But let me tell you a little bit about what I see, the difference here is what is happening and why it's so, so important to pay attention to something like this. Because right now it is a huge, huge trend globally to eat organic. Everybody out there is trying to eat organic organic or bio organic ingredients you know every supplement company every nutrition company they are all about what ingredients they are using and the quality of ingredients but now let's think about this okay you, outside you have an organic field and you're only growing organic ingredients you know it's free from pesticides it's free from everything to make it 100 organic but there's nothing stopping atmospheric conditions so if you have a non-organic field two, three, four miles down the road, well then guess what? It's still gonna be having the same rainwater to, onto both fields. It's still having the same atmospheric conditions. That organic field is still gonna be affected by the ozone, by the carbon monoxide, by the sun, by the rain, by the crazy weather we get now all over the world. It's still gonna be completely affected by that. So are you ever going to get a fully organic? No. You're not. It is impossible when you're growing uh, seeds outside to get something that organic and that perfect. It's impossible. But a Groviv, they can. And this is where they are making the difference. The only way to ever get something of such perfection, essentially, is to do it in a controlled environment where you're controlling the temperature, you're controlling the light, you're controlling the soil, you're controlling the water, you're controlling everything what the seed gets to give it its perfect day so now let's take you through some further steps inside Groviv even more so now have a look at this this is very exciting this is what they call the seed cathedral and on this now you can see over a hundred different types of seeds that can be grown here but now let's have a little chat about seeds this is what we learned there so did you guys know that most seeds now are actually filled and pumped full of stuff to help them actually be more productive and produce more rather than actually being a better more nutrient dense original seed to what its quality is you know things like gluten are added now to seeds to help with the production rate so here well all seeds are gluten free because all the seeds are completely untouched but now this is what's even more exciting. So there is some, um, you know, we call, they're called ancient seeds, but there are now some seeds that cannot be grown in the modern day agricultural farming environment. Just impossible, they can't. But here at Groviv, they can. So now this is where I put my like dreaming hat or my, my thinking hat. Imagine that you have seeds that have never been able to be grown for years and years and years. What that could do, what could be in it, what could we discover, what science could be behind it, what ingredients could be there, what benefits could we find? And that is what we're gonna find here. So check out this very quick video, what I'm gonna play now, what we saw at Groviv about the seeds' perfect day. Two years ago, when John and I went to the original uh, facility by the warehouse. A seed is the embodiment of nature. The method by which nature nurtures the earth. The seed is not grandiose. It is small, simple, often overlooked, and yet essential to the well-being of our entire planet. The seed is the origin of plants, 
that nourish the many inhabitants of the world. It can become the food we eat and purify the air we breathe. It can become the herbs needed to heal our bodies. It can become the natural beauty we need to heal and uplift our souls by sight, smell, sound, touch, and taste. And the seed will still nurture us, even in the face of unrelenting conditions. But over time, the conditions in which a seed must grow have become increasingly hazardous, worsening dramatically in the last century. Much of it caused by us, humankind, the very beings for whom the seed gives its life to nurture. And yet our seed, nature, continues to nurture us. What would happen if we chose instead to nurture nature? What would happen if we gave a seed the happiest and healthiest environment we could to help it grow? What if we could give a seed the perfect day, every day? Today, So that was pretty cool, right? Pretty exciting. But now let's have a look at the laboratories, okay? So now this is where it gets really exciting. Because in normal farming, in normal agriculture, they will only likely get, on average, two harvests a year. So that means they can only actually test what they're growing twice a year. But here at Grow Viv, because they produce so much so fast, it means they are actually doing up to a thousand tests a year. So you can instantly see, just imagine that straight away, a thousand tests a year compared to two. What can you learn? What can you do? What advancements can you make in such a short, fast period of time compared to farming and agriculture? You can't. And these are some of the things that they've learned. So in nature, what they've actually learned is what, the, what red and blue lights can do for the plants and how it can affect the strength of a root. And they've actually learned this from you know, rainforests and different canopies, what areas of the light will actually get into, where it will affect the leaves and where it will get down into the root and how it can affect it. And because I've learned that, they can, and through testing as well, they can actually then control the light with different red and blue lights to give the root a much stronger, fuller root. Another thing what they've learned as well is things like temperature differentials have a big difference and they can test that to see what benefits the seed and what doesn't test benefit the seed. And this is another cool thing too, music. Now, you might think music. What they've actually learned is if you want to produce more fiber from a root, what some seeds need is more wind vibration. Okay, so what they've learned in nature is that some seeds around in uh, more conditions are going to be getting hit with stronger winds where well, they're going to produce more fiber so what they can actually do in Grovev they've been using music and specifically different types of music with like, different bass lines and things is to create a stronger vibration to see what then produces more fiber for the seeds and of course because they can test so quickly they're seeing what music actually benefits the seed to produce more fiber and to grow the seed better it just is so, so exciting, guys, when you think about all this and what it can be done. Another thing as well is they don't use any dirt, okay? So no soil. So you might be thinking straight away, is, well, how can they grow plants? How can they grow seeds without any soil? Well, they're using what's called a soil mat. Because did you know all a soil does for um, a, a root is just hold the nutrients and water? But think about this, how much water is actually wasted when you're growing a plant? Quite a lot. Do you think about you've got a plant at home and it's in a pot and it's, you know, you've got a great big pot and you're having to make sure all of that soil is moist just to make sure enough of it will actually find its way into the roots. It's quite a lot wasted, isn't it? It actually turns out that 75% of the world's water is actually used in agriculture. But with Groviv and what they're doing, only 3% is actually needed. 3%, that's a 72% water difference, what they're using at Groviv compared to what they're using on a farm, for example. That alone is incredible. And as well now, there's also no wastage. 
Why is there no wastage? Well, because inside the soil are all the awesome nutrients that you've actually been, been produced by the root. But of course, all that gets thrown away. It's pulled out, cleaned off, done. But here, because it's grown on a soil mat, what they're actually doing now, once the mat's finished, they're taking it, they're chopping it all up, and they're reusing it for ingredients. So it is a constant process of making sure that there's no wastage, making sure everything runs at its most efficient, making sure that everything gives the seed the perfect day in the perfect environment through rigorous testing that they can do literally over a thousand times a year. Now that is so, so exciting. Let's take you on to the next part of Groviv. Now, as you can see, we're walking through a different part of Groviv. And here we're told, guys, no cameras, no videos. So unfortunately, you're just going to have me talking to you about this piece. But inside here was something that nobody has seen yet. And it is so exciting. It's how it works, what is growing there. And now, but walking around, I'm going to tell you about what was in my mind. So walking around, I kept saying to myself, right, okay, I get it. I understand. I see how seeds can be grown faster. I, I get all of it. I understand that. But what I don't understand is when on a farmland, you have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of acres. How come a small warehouse in Utah <laughs> produce the same as what thousands of farms can all over the world? Like how? And then we saw this pod. It's a 25 foot by 25 foot pod. And inside it is the equivalent to over a hundred acres of farming land, okay? How it happens. So inside this pod, you have a patented rail system that spirals up, okay? And on these rails as well, is some robot arms that do all the watering. And it is all the red and blue lights that are being controlled exactly what that specific what seed, what they're growing needs. And one exciting thing is, and what's had a lot of engineers like myself absolutely stumped, is that these red and blue lights produce no heat. You know, I'm there putting my hand on it and no heat is coming out of it. It's like, wow, well, how? I don't even understand. I don't need to understand, but it is incredible. So what happens is the seed starts at the bottom of the spiral and it actually takes six days to get to the top. And when it reaches the top, that is this photosynthesis done. And I said to the guy, I was like, why only six days? And he said, because that is when they found through testing that a seed is at its most nutrient dense. So if they want ingredients out of the seed, what is produced in six days is where they're going to get the maximum best nutrients and ingredients out of it. So that's they don't need to grow any more than that because you're getting the best out of it there. So literally, it'll take six days to spiral all the way up to the top. It's getting watered, it's getting grown, it's getting heat, it's getting light, all the way to the top, and it's produced down. Inside these grow pods, think about this, okay? There's no fossil fuels, because you don't need tractors, you don't need farming machinery, you don't need any of that. So there's no carbon dioxide being produced, no fossil fuels are being used. So again, it's 100% efficient. What actually happens as well inside one of these grow pods is over 3,000 litres of oxygen is being produced from one grow pod, okay? That is enough to allow 150 people to breathe per hour. So you can squeeze 150 people inside this grow pod and they're all gonna breathe this fresh oxygen and survive and live in a 25 foot by 25 foot pod. Now that is so exciting because you can literally pick them up and put them anywhere in the world. Because you know you give them the water supply for six days, done. They're only using 3% of the world's water, so they don't need much. You know, they've got the they've got all the conditions controlled, the heat, the light, the temperature, sound, everything's controlled and built into these 25 foot by 25 foot pods. So we said as well, you know, what else can you grow here? And they said, of course, we can grow bigger plants, we can grow full tomatoes, we can grow whatever you want to grow. Think about this as well. If they can do that in a big 25 foot by 25 foot pod, then of course they can scale that down and they can put it into small pods that anybody can buy, you can put in your kitchen, and you can grow your own vegetation, you can grow your own plants in your kitchen, just for a very small pod. Now what's so exciting for us as a company, is we have fully acquired Groviv. It has, Groviv has over 62 patents. Everything I've just told you about in the video is beyond exciting, and we have that. One, I, you know, I've tried some products from Groviv that actually came out. You know, we had a, um, it was a squeezable green shake that came out, and all the ingredients were grown by Groviv. Our green shake drink is currently right now having pure Groviv ingredients put into the green shake. I can't wait to get my hands on that. But just think about the the potential what we have now as a company. When everyone's saying to you, oh, you know, we have organic ingredients, we have organic ingredients. Well, if they're growing outside, they're never gonna be fully organic. It's just a fact, purely because of atmospheric conditions. They cannot be controlled. We have the only 
company in the world right now is doing what Growpiv is doing. And all those ingredients are going to be going into a range of our products very, very soon. You know, we can't give too much more information on that because one, we don't know what product's going to be, but we know roughly the vision and the line. The vision is so exciting. Growpiv alone has the potential to be over 10 billion dollar company and we're a part of that and going to be at the forefront of it and it is mind-blowing to see i hope to god that everyone watching this video that's a part of this company can go there and see what we are seeing can have their own grow pod eventually can see all this because it is just mind-blowing the potential so that is a short video feel free to message me and ask me any questions on it because i've got lots of notes we've got lots written down we're going to be talking about it a lot more so feel free to message me and ask me any questions and share this video around with all your teams and show people the potential of what is coming and what we have here so thanks guys have a great day everyone and i'll speak to you all soon